Hello everyone, Paul here. Today I'm just going to give you guys a quick message on, uh, on, you know, on this channel I've been actually uploading a lot of uh, videos that I, you know, that got removed from this channel. Uh, but I found them and I'm trying to re-upload some of a lot of the videos from like 2017. So I have a couple of them left, there's like two or three more. But recently I found a video uh, made in 2017 and, and you're going to watch that video directly after this video ends uh, I'll, I'll link it right back to it but you guys know that when I first learned about crypto it was through revenue shares and that's really how I learned about Bitcoin and when those platforms finally closed the doors uh, I made some videos and that's that's the kind of video that you're going to be watching next but if you want to know the timeline of where, where this video takes place it's right after the revenue shares shut their doors and in my mind is i'm really not in a good mood because uh, uh you know not an acceptance that the, the money that i put into those revenue shares are gone but it's good to look back because there's things that i talk about in the video and there's and there's things that you'll see in the video it's like a slap to the face because you, we're, I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you Coinbase. And I'm going to show you what Coinbase looked like in 2017. So anyway, there's things that I wish uh, that, you know, I said in this video that I wish I could have like just listened to. And that really is to, you don't need these opportunities to make money. All you really need to do you don't put your money in these opportunities that where you don't know the owner. All you got to do is find a crypto, uh, dollar cost average or HODL or day trade or one of those options. Just get involved with the asset and you'll be better off long term than just going into these opportunities. So listen to the poll from 2017 and uh, I should have taken the advice that I said in this video of what I said but anyway let's travel back in time and see what I said in 2017 and uh, anyway don't get involved in these opportunities just huddle dollar cost average and uh, day trade if, if you uh, and I am going to be putting some videos out in the next couple days about day trading so stay tuned for that there it's really going to be a game changer so Let's go back in time and watch what I have to say in 2017. Today I want to give you another uh, another video. Today I want to talk about... I'm going to divide this video into four parts. Uh, because if I talk about all of them, it's going to stretch out uh, to be a very long video. And what I want to talk about today is um, how... Uh, when, when I first came online, which was in uh, 2012, I came online with a um, mindset of trying to find a way for me to make money online uh, uh, individually. I wasn't thinking about other opportunities at the time, but when I learned about other opportunities, I got involved in that because it's a lot easier to find other opportunities and it's a little harder to create the income for yourself but uh, once you uh, learn uh, all the key strategies to doing it yourself you can be really in charge of your own uh, financial future and that's that's what you need to base your your online income for so in the next four videos I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over one topic of how to create income for yourself without relying on another opportunity because if you do another opportunity uh, if you watch my videos they come and go but when you can create the income for yourself uh, like I said you can be in charge of your own financial future uh, so each video I'm going to talk about um, one topic and today I'm going to just briefly go over one uh, one uh, the next video will be more in depth but this one is just going to be about uh, uh, you don't need for for this for the first one you don't really need to understand online marketing you just have to understand digital currency so what I'm going to do today is just show you a small example 
I've made a video on my channel in the past where I talked about Coinbase. And I, w I basically walked you through Coinbase and showed you how to get an account. So I don't have to do that in today's video. Today I can very lightly talk about the subject. As you can see today, the Bitcoin price reached a milestone, which was 2000 above 2000 uh, in US dollars. But it's the highest it's ever been today. So it's a good a good time to bring this topic up. Now, uh, in the past, and if you've seen my videos, you've seen that in the past, I put money from uh, Coinbase to revenue shares. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is you don't need any online uh, marketing experience. All you would have to do is set up your account, set up a Coinbase account. Now, there's, there's many different uh, wallets you can choose from, but... I personally use Coinbase, so that's the one I'm going to use for the example. Now, Coinbase specifically does not like uh, when you receive money from like a revenue share or an online op opportunity. But if you if it were to come to your bank to your debit card, they wouldn't have a problem with it. So uh, what you do is you set up your Coinbase account and you set up your debit card, your your checks. And then you just transfer. So I'm going to show you that real quick. You go over to buy. Well, once you create your account, you go over to buy and sell. And Coinbase has three different coins that you can buy. But I, I recommend buying uh, Bitcoin. And secondly, I recommend Ethereum. Litecoin is new. But for the sake of this video, I'm recommending that uh, you choose Bitcoin first. So what you would do, once you're in the buy section, you would just connect your bank. You know, connect your bank. And then over here in the left, you would say how much in U.S. dollars you want to convert over. So if you wanted to do $300... Not 3,000. <laughs> so this would be how much Bitcoin you'd be buying. So all you would have to do is click that button. Of course, there's going to be some fees. But once you click that button, it's going to go to your Bitcoin. And you're, you're, you will officially have bought some Bitcoin. Now, my personal recommendation is if you have a 9-to-5 job, uh, take a portion of that, just a small portion. You know, don't do your rent money, your grocery money, and uh, child support, anything. It's whatever you can afford to lose. Because you're not really losing the money, you're just putting it in Bitcoin. But if the Bitcoin goes down, you'll lose a little bit of money. So that's why I'm saying uh, put in only what you can spare putting into digital currency. So what I started doing uh, a couple days ago, as you can see right here, uh, on Thursday, May 18th, I think that was Thursday, Thursday, yeah, that was Thursday on the 18th, right here. So you see right here that I put around 300, my own, my own pocket, my, uh, my 9 to 5 income, my broke man's plan, that's what I call it. So uh, you put the broke man plan and you put some money in from your 9 to 5. Now, it's whatever you can put in. Do not, Like I said, uh, my personal thing is probably 300 bi-weekly. So 600 a month, which is probably what I'm going to start to do. So uh, I put around 300. So you see right here, that's 259.98. Let me calculate that. Two fifty nine point ninety eight plus twenty three ninety two. Okay, so I put a total of two hundred and eighty three dollars in US dollars uh two days two days ago. And that right after I did that the price of Bitcoin it started to shoot up. 
so I have this this mindset that whenever I put money in Bitcoin, uh, the money stays there. I don't take it out. So whatever you put in, well, this is just my strategy. Well, whenever the money goes into Bitcoin, I'm not going to take it out for a very, very, very long time. And by weekly, I'm going to start doing this. So, so I would suggest coming up with a similar strategy. But so what was that number on the calculator? It was 283. So out of 283 is what I paid out of pocket to put in Bitcoin. And in two days from the 18th, it's gone up to $340. So we can, we don't, we can't predict when it's going to go up, when it's going to go down, but Bitcoin's going to be here for a while. So, uh, investing in Bitcoin is probably one of the most important things that I can recommend. And this is not coming from, uh, an online marketing. You want to know all that stuff. So that's why this is my first lesson. So, um, my, my recommendation is to study up on Bitcoin, uh, set up a Coinbase account, and then just start slowly adding a little bit more and a little bit more. And as time passes, you'll have a lot of Bitcoin in there. And, uh, don't take it out for a year, two years, six, six months to a year or two years. And, uh, you should have quite a quite a big savings account, but uh, as a disclaimer, I'm just sharing this information to help you out. And how much ever you put into it is up to you. But this is something that I do recommend. So anyway, that's that's just my first uh, lesson uh, for creating income uh, without relying on another opportunity. So, uh, my next video, I'm going to go more in depth on, on another opportunity. You, you don't really have to know about online marketing on this one, but you do have to know some kind of paid marketing strategies for, for, uh, my next lesson. So, uh, stay tuned for part two where I talk about, uh, ways to create income without relying on other opportunities. Because in the end, you want to be your own boss. And this, this is what I'm going to try to teach you. So, four methods. Stay tuned for my next video. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You can also print me on Facebook. Make sure you visit my blog. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.